Hello, hello, happy Tuesday. Jody here from Healing Journey, and today I'm gonna to talk about one of my favorite topics, and this is because it's been a complete game changer for me and a complete game changer for my clients, and it's unfortunately not on a lot of people's radars when it comes to healing anxiety, but it's super important, and really, I wish that more professionals knew about this. Before I dive in to today's hot topic, I wanted to share with you, if you haven't heard already, that I have a pretty cool special going on into January. So until January 31st, you get access to 2020 pricing on my 12 week program, The Holistic Anxiety Fix. And this program looks at healing anxiety holistically from many different layers, including what I'm gonna share with you today. And the results are actually phenomenal. So women are coming into the program with severe anxiety and they're leaving the program with no clinical anxiety. So super cool results. And for this month only, I'm actually giving away an extra month in the program. So it's a 16 week program. So you get an extra month of coaching with me, you're also going to get GABA, um, which I'm going to be talking about in a live later again this week, uh, as well as instructions on how to use GABA. And then you're going to get a bonus one-on-one -on -one with me. And a lot of the women do use this bonus to go through their hair test results with me so that they can understand it in a more personalized manner. So really cool bonuses this month that you're absolutely going to want to tap into. So if you haven't already, click the link and book that call complimentary call with me if you think that this is something you want to do in 2021. So let's get to today's topic, which is um, about the brain and the role that the brain plays in healing anxiety. So a lot of times when people think about anxiety, you know, I'm hearing from a lot of you guys that you're doing, you know, yoga and meditation and relaxation and all of those strategies are really great. But one of the biggest complaints that I hear is, you know, I do these strategies and then four seconds later, I actually become anxious again. So as soon as the yoga class is over, I'm anxious, you know, do I have to breathe all day long? Maybe I need to meditate like a monk to maintain this calmness in my nervous system. And what the challenge is, is that you're actually coming at healing anxiety from a sort of symptom level. So you're not getting to the reason that you have anxiety in the first place. And what that is for a lot of women is that their limbic system is actually damaged. So how can you tell if your limbic system is damaged? So short of doing a brain scan, um, the best way to tell that your limbic system is damaged is actually a couple of different things. So what I find and I found with myself and a lot of my clients is that they can't think of four positive memories. So if you're thinking about past memories and you might be listening to this and thinking like, hey, that's super easy, Jody. I can think of four positive memories. So I challenge you to write them down because what I find is that when you think of those memories, what happens is the negative really slips in and you're not actually feeling positive about the memories at all. So if this is something you struggle with, this is, you know, indicator number one. If you're finding that you're anxious to things that don't have an obvious trigger, and for me, the big thing was that I would watch Master Chef and become anxious. I would get heart palpitations to it. I started to get heart palpitations going for walks. You know, things that were like just a little bit stressful, my body would start to go out of control in terms of my stress response. And so that's actually an indication that you may have limbic system damage as well. If you have panic going on, that's also an indication of limbic system damage. And what's actually happening is the anxiety is being triggered at the brain level. So what that means is that when you see something sort of stressful, your brain goes, oh my gosh, and it sets off the fire alarm every time there's something remotely stressful going on around you. And so it misses misinterprets the seriousness of the stressful event, and then it sends your whole body into fight or flight. 
So it's like seeing an ant and your body thinking it's a bear and running for a bear from a bear instead. So you're doing all of those physiological and cognitive responses like it is a bear, but you're actually just looking at an ant. So you can see that, you know, you're doing the techniques like the yoga and the breathing that are calming to your nervous system. But if you don't heal the reason why that limbic system is going off in the first place and why it's over firing, then, then is you're going to have a problem, right? Then you're constantly going to be needing to do these calming strategies all the time because you haven't actually healed your limbic system. And so one of the ways to heal the limbic system, and I'll give you a little snippet into what we do in the holistic anxiety fix is that you spend time in a positive past memory. And what that's actually doing is it's stopping the limbic system loop, right? Remember the limbic system is in the brain and it's triggering this anxiety response. And so if you spend time in past positive memories, then it's going to stop the loop and it's gonna remind your body that another state and other emotions exist. Now, this may sound a little bit woo-woo to you, and to be honest with you, it sounded completely ridiculous to me. But here's what's incredible. When I started to do these limbic system exercises, my anxiety, and this was a couple of years ago, my anxiety cut in half in six weeks. So they are extremely powerful if it is something that is a root cause to your anxiety. So if this is completely new to you, if learning about the limbic system is new to you, then just type below new and let me know if this is a new approach or a new way of understanding your anxiety because let me tell you, it can be an absolute game changer.